Learning Wednesday. It is time for us to start another amazing Olin Day. Every day we take a moment to honor our country with the Pledge of Allegiance. At this time, I'd like you to please stand and face the flag. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Eagles, today I'd like to talk to you about cooperation. And to do so, I'd like to share a proverb. I'm probably going to have to explain this one. Here's the proverb. If the fingers on your hand are fighting, they cannot pick up the food. Hmm. What do you think that means? Let's think about it. Don't all the fingers on your hand have to work together to pick up your sandwich? Or a pen? Or your books? If your fingers were fighting against one another, your hand wouldn't work at all, would it? So people are like fingers on a hand. When everyone works together, things get done more easily, like when we help out around the classroom. Now, I know you're not at school today, but let's help out around the house. We can all work together to make things a little bit easier wherever we are. So, even if you're in the classroom, you can pick up around the class and help, or you can work together on a special project. That is called cooperation. So, let's do the right thing. Let's act like the fingers on a hand and work well with each other. Cooperation makes everything easier for everyone. I think you can do that, Eagles. So, let's think about how we can cooperate. Today's featured lunch item Depends on what you've eaten so far from your meal kit. It can either be a bean and cheese burrito, mini burgers, or a grilled cheese sandwich. Mm -mm, yummy! Thank you, food services staff, for providing the children in Brea with delicious and nutritious meals. Today's animal facts are about... The spoon-billed sandpiper. Cool-looking bird. Look at those long legs, the body and head, and of course that interesting-looking beak. We've got a couple more pictures. There's another picture of one. Long legs, round body, round head, and a beak. Here's a different colored one. Again, look at that beak. Long legs. And I'm trying to zoom into the beak, but I can't. So I'll just hold it closer. Look at the beak. It's shaped kind of interestingly, huh? So let's talk about it. The spoon-billed sandpiper is a little wading bird. They like to walk around in the water. And it's known for that really interesting shaped bill. It's shaped like a spatula. The tip of their beak is flared out a little bit and is wider at the end than it is at the base. Unlike other birds, when this little birdie comes out of its egg, that beak is already fully developed. It's already got its wide end and thin, narrow, um, I'm sorry. It's already shaped like that, basically. Um, these birdies are small. They don't grow much larger than six, maybe seven inches in length. And they are known for their plump body, long legs, and round head. Their wings are also very small, about half an inch. And the bill, or their beak, measures just about an inch in length. Their coloration is very specific to them. They are reddish brown in their head, neck, and chest area. And underneath, they are either black or brown. Younger ones are brownish gray. And their underside doesn't have any colors. They're just white. Or they definitely don't have that reddishness to it. 
these guys don't live here. So you're not going to see this bird anywhere near California. Um, the spoon-billed sandpiper has a very specific place that it likes to live. It likes to live in lagoons that have small birch trees. Interesting, right? I know our school is on Birch Street, but a birch tree is a very specific type of tree, and these birdies only like those trees to be small. That's pretty much in one area of the world. They live mostly in northeast Russia along the Chutosk and Kamchatka Peninsula. I just really wanted to say Kamchatka. During winter, they migrate down the Pacific coast of Russia into Southeast Asia. So you'll see them in places like Myanmar, Bangladesh, or the coastal part of southern China. Um, they might even make their way towards the Yellow Sea during migration. Now, this is kind of sad, but this is an endangered species. Because of their very unique shaped beak, hunters like to go and get them. There are only about 2,500 spoon-billed sandpipers still here on Earth. However, because they're so cool looking, there are active measures to conserve them. So things are getting a little bit better for the spoon-billed sand sandpiper. What do they eat? Most birds that are wading birds love to eat worms. Actually, most birds just love worms. So this guy eats mostly worms that they can pull out of the shallow waters that it walks around in, but they are also known to eat little tiny shrimp as well. Shrimpy shrimp. Shrimp shrimps. Okay, that's enough about the spoon-billed sandpiper. It is time for me to go and for you to learn. Let's soar, Olinda, and make it a great day. Fly by, eagles.